Hello guys, welcome back to Asteri Boss. Are you ready? Let's get started. So, uh, I touched the portal, so I'm here with her. She gave me a key. So, okay, let's check this out. No. That's the way to the bazaar. Let's concentrate on the workshop mission first. Yes, yeah, sir. Got it. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Oh, seaweed. Open it. Sweet. Okay. Oh, up there. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh oh. All right. What is this? All oh, sucks. No, can't open that one. Scary. Why would there be a colossus here? Oh my god, you Great! Need it. Minerva didn't tell me that. I'll get to her later. Strange noise. Are you all right? Not. Yeah, thanks. Come but on. I would have appreciated a heads up about the Colossi in there. That isn't how it's supposed to be. The Colossi shouldn't act without orders. Strange. Could someone have known we were coming? Oh well. This one too? No? Oh, take. So, nothing. Eradicate this curse so that no 
Can't you let me take the stardust to the king to ease his- That's not the concern right now. The Trinity is coming. If we miss it, if the curse of stars is lifted, you won't have- Yes. If it fails, the curse won't only affect Aegis, but every- Can't you see? It's the- uh, I'll help you resolve the crisis as soon as- Great. No. Oh? So even Ambari can end up in trouble. It sounds even worse than I thought. Does Humanities really want to save it all? I could tell Papa didn't entirely trust him, though. Me neither. Let's go for... Uh, yeah! Oh. Oh. Maybe I should go this way, okay, anyway. I saw one... More guy. There. Okay. Do we have to fight there, right? Is that true? Okay, so let me. Whoa. I'm not gonna stop that one. Great. Okay, so two. Or one more house. Uh, that's good. That's good. Awesome. Okay, here. <gasps> what? Oh, dear. I heard the sound. Coming out. Ew. What? Or what is it? No? What is it? Another one. What is it? Whew. 
어허. 말이지. 
Here, there was a shortcut actually. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyways, how did it go? The Colossi weren't too difficult to handle. Here, I got the Polaris light reader. Also, I saw lots of valuable looking boxes inside, but they looked ransacked. Someone must have been there before me. The only person who knows how to get into the vault besides myself is... human. What would he have come for? I have a theory, but I need to test it with a polarized light reader. Now that you can use the conduit to teleport, you can return with me or stay here to explore some more. Mm -hmm. I'm off to the shelter to prepare for the analysis. Don't be too long. Come on. Little bit tired. Okay, let's see. Hey, sweetie, what's up? Uh... Hey, look, I found a new blueprint. Awesome, cutie. Now I can make more trinkets for you. Now that we have the polarized light reader, we can begin. Wow! What is this? Just a moment. I need to analyze this conduction ring first. Reversing the flow. Nexus. A ritual. So that's what he's up to. Hilda, the chests inside the Laurelcraft treasury have all been ransacked, right? On my honor. Good. I believe you. Unfortunately, I now know what Humanities is doing. You may already be aware of this, but on that towering peak behind the city, there is a light that shines unceasingly. That's the Nexus, Aphis's biggest and purest starite. Bestowed upon us, we believe, by the Three. Our civilization developed around the Nexus, and achieved glory by the use of magic. However, even thousands of years of research haven't enabled us to fully control its power. Humanities is trying to master the Nexus in order to gain its limitless power. Could the device from this design allow him to control the Nexus? Yes. 
Humanity's instructed the Northwind Legion to gather the materials necessary to make conduction rings, and then install them in each conduit. The conduits were originally intended to distribute the power of the Nexus. However, conduction rings alter the direction of the energy flow, concentrating all of the energy of the conduit in the hands of the user. That energy could then be used to control the Nexus. Wouldn't that be problematic? Trying to control the Nexus with excessive and unrefined force could make it unstable. If the energy isn't controlled properly, it could trigger another apocalyptic magic storm. And if he can control it properly? This is just speculation. But he could gain mastery of all living things. Curse or no curse. He could choose to remove our curse, or... He could lead us in another direction. And then, even if you wear an amulet, neither you nor the Northwind Legion will be able to escape his grasp. Everyone will become a puppet in his hands. He alone will decide the fate of every one of us. No, I won't allow that to happen. Neither will I. We must do everything we can. Hilda, we must stop your father from completing his mission and put an end to humanity's plan. I must stop him. Let me know when you're ready, and we'll continue our work. I'm ready. What are you planning to do? Hilda, you've proved yourself to me. I've seen your ability and your determination. And I have seen your destiny. From now on, I hope things will be more equal between us. What do you mean? I mean, we share the same goal. From now on, I'll do everything I can to help you, and I'll tell you all about my objectives and plans. Understand? That's surprising. What made you change your mind? Because you're... no, never mind. I just think things will be better this way. Don't you agree? Of course. And I'll repay your trust. It's the Northwind Legion's way. I'm happy we can be friends. Friends? That's not really what I had in mind. <sighs> oh, did I misunderstand? No, you're right. It's as you say. So, I finished deciphering the documents Marissa brought back. This is the biggest breakthrough we've had so far. I'm confident that we can deal with the crisis in Aphis. However, that will only make the next thing we need to do even more challenging. I'm really going to need your help. You can count on me. So, what's your plan? To tell you that, I need to first tell you about Asteragos. A thousand years ago in Aphis, Humanities and I came up with a plan that would lead all Ephesians into a bright new era. Inside the city, we constructed a system of conduits, and gave every resident, regardless of their class, a resonator. Resonators, just like your necklace, generate a resonance with a conduit allowing the user to enjoy the benefits that magic brings. But something went wrong. More and more people suffered magical mutations as a result of the resonators. Humanities frantically tried to find the cause of the problem and solve it, but to no avail. Nothing he tried could stop the spread of the magical mutations. Until he came across an ancient legend. According to this legend, anything could be achieved by performing a ritual called Aspiration on Trinity Night. Disregarding widespread opposition, he went ahead and performed the ceremony, wishing to remove the magical mutations by manipulating the power of the Nexus. But the ritual ended in failure. It was that night that Asteragos descended upon Aphis. No wonder you say he's the culprit, and no wonder you react so strongly whenever I mention him. So now you know. Anyway, to get back to the point, my plan is to perform the aspiration again, but this time, do it correctly. Again? Didn't you say the power of the Nexus can't be controlled? I understand you have doubts, so feel free to ask me anything. What was in the documents that Marissa brought back? It was research proving that a similar ritual had been successfully performed several millennia ago. In addition to it needing to be performed on Trinity Night, the ritual requires three ancient relics in order to keep it stable. Relics are the key. So a thousand years ago, Eumenides failed because he didn't have the relics. Exactly. 
And now he's disregarding the research and planning to do things his way. We can't allow him to repeat the same mistake. And let's not forget, even if he's successful, it'll only make him even more of a threat. Yes, that's true. Tanrius's research also points out that the Nexus was damaged because of humanity's last failure. Unless we can find a way to repair its structural matrix, performing the ritual again will be extremely dangerous. So, we need to collect the three relics, find a way to repair the Nexus, and persuade Eumenides to let us use it. I get the feeling he's not an easy person to persuade. There are many ways to persuade someone. We just need to find the right one. But I don't understand. Why does Eumenides want to work with my father? Because he no longer has any other allies in the city. Right now we lack cohesion. It is difficult for us to unite. But with his abilities, it wouldn't be difficult for him to do it alone, would it? It's true that Eumenides can use his apparition to shuttle back and forth, but the apparition can't touch solid matter. With his help, the Northwind Legion are highly okay, maneuverable and are inherently point. very skilled warriors. Moreover, they're the only ones who don't know who Eumenides is. He's unlikely to let go of the Northwind Legion before the ritual is complete. It's awful the way he's using them. Knowing my father, he'd never return empty-handed if he found a way to save the king. I'm positive Eumenides won't share with him the details of the ritual or its outcome. If we see your father, we must make him see Eumenides for who he really is. So, what should I do now? Mm -hmm. I think I know where the relics mentioned in the documents are. Aphis is governed by three Archons, each of whom inherited an ancient relic, a symbol of their status. The real function of these relics has been forgotten through the ages. Now they're merely regarded as symbolic. Fortunately, I know where to find these Archons, or at least I have a clue to their whereabouts. That sounds promising. The trouble is, even if I can find them, I don't know if I'll be able to communicate with them. Well, I've got my work cut out for me. Time to put my talents to good use. There's also Tanrius and his wife, who went missing in the mine while searching for a way to repair the Nexus. Four objectives this time. Understood? Let's get started. The Sunken Outskirt. <sighs> the Archon Serene went missing many years ago, but we received some new information recently, and this time it's extremely accurate. The intelligence quint. Fair lady. Argus Plaza. Don't be too surprised. To obtain the Archon of Legion's relic, you must challenge the Archon. After Eumenides imprisoned Petrius, the Archon... For centuries, Tanrius the Scholar searched endlessly for the key... Hilda? Yes, madame? Time is of the essence. Ooh, so... Let's see.
Oh, that's three. It's missing, right? So let's try here first. Doors open. One, two, one, two, one, two. The gate's open, uh -huh. but no sign of Otto. Where to go? Strange. I smell. Blood. Is it coming from the stairway? Adam, I've been looking for you. What the hell are you doing? What happened? I could ask you the same thing, humanities. What's with the monster that refuses to die? You didn't tell me about that. That's not my fault. I've told you not to touch it. And to be careful with those magical traps. Your reckless actions attracted the guard. Those are my men risking their- My necklace can keep you hidden. I have no idea how your men got caught. I was right to come and check on you. Granted, you completed the mission, but just barely. I obviously overestimated your intelligence. Return now, Commander. We're going to get yourself killed in stints. Let me find your men for you. You better keep them safe, humanities. Without us- Alright, alright. Don't have much time. And I know that you tampered with a device from Balan Academy. Go to the first rally point and wait for me. I'll go find you. We'll know soon enough if it was a- Weapon. Sean would never let his hammer leave his side, let alone leave it in a state like this. Blood's leading in that direction. What's what? that sound? Damn! Oh. oh my god. Whoa, you scare me.
掉了。Uh, from here. You too, right? to find out where's the next safe point. This guy is coming.
God, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I died just over and over again. Kill that one. Ah, uh, what are you doing? I have to do something. Big guy.
Like I've got a chance to catch my breath. Flactory's cradle. The slab looks relatively new, but the inlet is very old. Could it have been replaced? Stop. Scary. I need to find the key to the locked door first. Yeah, but where is the... Wow, he's there. He, he doesn't want to move. Why? Go away, please. Hmm. Oh my god, there's a summer. Judging by the amount of blood, it looks like this place was used to torture someone. Or maybe Painful. some dreadful experiment was conducted here. I can't even. My poor brother. 
I can't recognize who you are. But may the wind take your soul. Hmm. I wonder if Otto came across this gory scene too. If so, what? <laughs> Nothing. Whoa. Where did it go? Okay, anyway. Let's <laughs> check this way. Oh. Torture floor. The oppressive, creepy environment is uncomfortable enough on its own. You wanna die, idiot? Are you just walking? Okay, dead, dead, dead. Whoa. Where is it? Another guy. Another one. Quickly! 
What are you doing? Ah. Wow. This guy is pretty scary actually. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What? Hypnosis. Maybe that's the guy I think. What is this? Come on. Yes. Hmm. Looks like it'll take more to restore it than just turning on the switch.
Whoa, morning star. Scary. Oh, hold on. Level pretty stressful actually. The no problem is I can't save here. If I save, stop. I have to restart yeah. very beginning. What is that? Kind of snake? Too, right? Something's here. Something's hmm. here. Something's here. What do you mean? Hmm. Something's 
here. Hmm. Something's here. Why is something? Something, something. Quickly. Oh, scary. Oh, can't go that way. One or two, I can't tell. Blood? Oh my god, no. Here, right? Oh, stressful. I knew it. Oh, there. Okay, anyway, so I have to explore up or there, or I don't know, deeper place. And I have to find that out that auto too. Anyway, more than one hour, so I'm a little bit tired. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!